Welcome to Taidong, a small city located in the southeastern corner of this beautiful island of Taiwan. Join me today on this rainy day as we uncover some of Taidong's most undiscovered gems. Taidong is known nationwide for its pristine mountains, its plentiful fields of rice and fruit trees, as well as the rich cultural history of the local indigenous tribes. Let's go. Here we are at the Taidong train station. This is where many of you will start your journey here on the east coast of Taiwan. Now, this construction was completed in 1980, believe it or not, which to me doesn't sound that long ago, only 43 years. But during that time, this train station has undergone many, many improvements. Now, after extensive construction and renovations, it has become one of the most beautiful train stations in all of Taiwan. Let's go inside and check it out. Here we are inside the Taidong train station at a small stall called Lao Dongfang. And this shop is actually very famous in the region because it specializes in a myriad of various local and traditional teas, many of which are made from ingredients found in this local area. And I have come here for one specific purpose, and that is the abai. This is a local indigenous Taiwanese cuisine, and it's made from wrapping a leaf from one of the local plants around xiaomi or millet. And this is one of the most unique indigenous foods that you can find here in Taiwan. And amazingly enough, we have found it right here in the middle of this bustling train station. Let's give this a try. I would say the leaf gives it an almost bitter taste at the beginning. And then you've also got a nice fatty piece of pork hidden away inside. That is something you definitely need to try when you come through Taidong or anywhere in Taiwan where you can find the local indigenous food. Always remember folks, when you go to the Taidong train station for two hours for filming and drinking coffee and relaxing, don't forget to turn off your scooter and take the keys all the way out. Otherwise, when you return to your scooter, you will notice that your scooter does no longer work because it is out of battery. And then you need to call the very nice man at the local scooter repair shop who will very kindly load your scooter into the truck, take you to his shop, and hopefully get our day back on track. All right, so after a little bit of trials and tribulations, we got the scooter working again. Good stuff. Well, it wasn't that exciting, but glad we got everything under control and fixed up. We have come here now to the Bainan archeological site, right beside the Taidong train station. Unfortunately, due to our escapades with the battery, we were not able to make it here in time before it actually closed at 5 p.m. But I'm standing outside of the excavation site. And what's interesting about this place is while they were renovating the Taidong train station, which I mentioned to you, they actually discovered that buried deep beneath the grass and the dirt all around the train station are actually very significant archeological sites. So these represent the Bainan culture and it has been radiocarboned back to some of it more than 5,000 years ago. So I'm sorry if I'm teasing you a little bit here without actually going inside. Perhaps next time I'll be a little more careful with my scooter and I will be able to explore it by myself. I did mention that this video was all about the undiscovered hidden gems of Taidong. So I know a lot of people will probably go fly their drones in the mountains and check out Shishang rice fields, which we may still do. But as far as this evening is concerned, I've found myself, well, to be honest, in somebody's backyard. And this particular backyard is probably one of the most unique you will see in all of Taiwan. So as you can see, the proprietors of this property, they've spent 
what looks to be a huge portion of time eloquently and elegantly decorating dozens and dozens of rocks and placing them throughout their backyard in, I would say, a very, how do you say, eccentric type of manner. Uh, I really actually like the artwork. It's something very unusual and in a style that I've pretty much only ever seen in one place in Taiwan before, and that might be the time that I went to the Rainbow Village in Taichung. Some of you may have seen that video. But as for now, I'm just going to walk around this small back garden, enjoy myself, and take a look at probably some of the most interesting sculpture artwork I've seen in Taiwan. Just across the road from that wonderful painted backyard, as I'm calling it, because on Google there is no name, is a very well-preserved historical wooden house. And I'm trying to figure out exactly what's going on here. This is called the Xia Binlong community. And it says that this is the community's third location. They've moved several times. And I guess this is the final resting place of this community. And it says there used to be an old church here, which was built by the Japanese. And it also says that the name of this place, Xia Binlong, means many, many ants. So it's all a little bit of a mystery. As far as I'm concerned, this is kind of a haunted house because there is a spider web, massive spider web, uh, just dominating the front entrance there. We had to sneak around it and there is a cat up on the roof and it looks fairly, fairly abandoned. I'm just peeking in the windows. Looks to be an old Japanese tatami style house. And let me knock on the door, see if anybody's home. I highly doubt that this will be open. Nope, it is not. So from what I can see, it's pretty much abandoned. I would hope that in the future, Taidong government could probably put a little bit more work into maybe renovating this and making it something that people would like to come see, making it part of the Taidong attraction or tourist scene. Perhaps I am the first tourist to come here in a long time, who can really say? But I really love how traditional and ancient these grounds feel, as if nobody's stepped foot on these premises for a very long time. Next up on the list here of Taidong's hidden gems. We've come here to Tiahua Street Art Village. This place looks fairly new. You can see it's all new construction and it's one of these very artistic installations in Taiwan that seem to be popping up all over the place, which are made of old recycled shipping containers. I honestly think that is a very good way to recycle these old shipping containers and this place seems to be flourishing. I think this is just a wonderful place to relax. You can bring a date, bring some friends. They do have places to buy beers and lots and lots of snacks and food. This is definitely something that I would come to a lot if I lived here in the city. Well, there you have it, folks. That is my video about Taidong's potentially most underrated gems. I know that was a little bit eclectic, some of it a bit eccentric, but when you come to the east coast of Taiwan, just brace yourself that every day is going to be a new adventure, whether it's beautiful scenery like this completely surrounding you, these green mountains and rice fields, or scary haunted houses off back streets in the forgotten alleyways of Taidong City. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel. Just hit that button right down below. Also, you can like this film. If you really liked it, please consider joining my membership page and I highly recommend you stay tuned for next week's video where we head deep into those mountains and cross Taiwan's Southern Cross Highway from here in Chishang, Taiwan, all the way to Kaohsiung County. Join me next week. Goodbye.